I held the power of a dying son. I climbed the altar and I claimed my place as God. All right, let's go. What? Yeah, they're lyrics. From what? I thought you were about to go into talking about Spider-Man 2. No. I held the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. The name of the song is Circle With Me by Spirit Fox. Um, and That's I'm- not Spider-Man 2. It is not Spider-Man 2. I held the power of a dying sun, I climbed the altar, and I claimed my place as God. Yep. Spirit Box, good, good little, I don't know what you would call them, metalcore, post-hardcore. Um, anyway, we need to- okay. Yes, okay, so uh, again, just to be clear, I want to give it options. We can do our job quest, or we can do MSQ. I'm fine with either, we're already here at MSQ, so I assume you want to do that. Um... And we'll do job quest next time. Uh, I'm we just... could also do it the other way. Oh, oh, my eyelid fucking folded. Uh, I don't know, just so hard. My, my biggest... Let me lay it on the line for you, and we'll take it from there. My biggest complaint with the game is like, as much as I'm interested in it, and I'm like, I want to see what's happening. Right now, the story is so uninteresting. I feel like we're getting somewhere, because now it's like, Science of the Seventh Dawn, like, ooh. But like, ow, my my evil cat attack. Like, you know, like, there's just nothing going on. So part of me is like, let's do MSQ so we can get to the good shit. Um, and then the other part of me is like, let's just do our job quests. And like, so I can avoid bad MSQ. That may be a hot take. Not the hottest take, but uh, uh, you're gonna have that take for a good while. Let's go. <laughs> so, MSQ then? Yeah, MSQ so we can get to the good stuff. Alright. It's gonna be a while. To be clear, I am enjoying. Well, my the other thing is like, I just wish I was, heavily disagree. I wish it was. I understand. I wish it was more good stuff happening. Like I wish it was more dungeons and like trials and stuff in between what we're doing. But that's okay. I I recognize this is not a forty hour experience. It is a like four hundred hour experience. Huh. So. Four hundred. What is it? Five hundred. At least. Okay. Bare minimum. I said bare I, minimum. So it flows better to say forty to four hundred than forty to five hundred. So I just kept with it. But I was like, it's more like five hundred. Um, yeah. Welcome back. For us, the way we're going, I'd say six, seven. <laughs> Why? Because we're gonna do all the stuff and we're taking our time and there's moments like this where we just stand around talking. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Am I am I voice him or are you? Uh, you can do it or I can do it. What do you want? Welcome back. I'll let you do it. Yeah. Scions, Lady Minfilia awaits you within. I'm gonna have to voice Minfilia. Well, yes. maybe I won't. Voice acting? That's another thing. I wish it was more voice acting. I know it's gonna come no! back. No. Okay, remember how this whole, like, ARR is, like, 50 to 60 hours, I would guess? And we're, like, 20 in. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's three and a half hours of voice acting. Across that whole thing. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skill to work. Mm. How do I know why the recruitment officer called me to regale, with the, uh, regale me with the tales of your heroics? The pride in his voice was palpable. We signs are truly fortunate to have you with us, Meteor and Wife. Now, when I uh, last we spoke, I said that I wanted to, uh, you to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I neglected to mention uh, that you have already met. Tataru, please show them in. Now, don't... I don't know... Okay. We know Papa Limo. We know... Like, we know all the signs that we're going to meet. Who the fuck could this be? Hmm, I'm curious. Who do you think it's going to be? That's so that... that I haven't clicked yet. Who? We've met them. Yeah, it's it it's it can't be something job quest specific because it's like everybody does this. So, but that line with oh, the job quest because the, the, um, of jobs. White hair, the white hair twins. Oh, the, okay. White hair twins. This way, sirs. Fuck. <laughs> Bigs and wedge. Okay. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. 
And I'm... I'm... Gosman, spit it out, will you? Wedge at your service! He has onion hair. Yep. I am pleased to say that Beaks and Wedge will be, will be staying with us for a while. Did we talk about uh, Pixel Remaster release dates in the podcast? No, we did not. Because they, were, they weren't out yet. Mother we recorded the night before. Mother son of a um, bitch. <laughs> uh, Magitech-driven uh, contraptions such as an airship grow ever more vital uh, to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scions should serve as the keepers of the technology. Of course, for this, uh, we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, ve who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. I don't like the name of that company. Why? Garland. It's it's made founded by Sid Garland. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Our happy family <laughs> continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. La, 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 la. Uh, what is he saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you stole. How are you doing today? You want to go for dinner? Um, Mommy. And that's why Thangrid stepped forward. Oh, he said like, no. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, but like every soul here, I love Aorzi, and I count myself uh, blessed to have given you uh, this chance to stand with you. All uh, stand with you all and uh, yeah. stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Sounds out, buddy. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. I'm, my tummy's grumbly. Cool. Okay, so, another, another complaint. And it's a small little thing. I understand why they do it. If we are in MSQ mode, why wow. is it like, hey, you just completed this quest. Pick up the next quest from the same person. Why not just, like, continue it? I guess, so it's like, quest complete experience. But it's just like, I don't know, it just feels odd. I mean, well, we completed the quest. Right. But, like, I, I'm just, I'm probably just being. They here. do this in, like, normal games as well. I know, but. Like, this happens all the time in, like, RP regular RPGs. Whatever. Extremely often, actually. Maybe I'm just being an asshole at 14. Maybe. All right. This time. The other one? No. That's Min very valid. Minfilia needs you to investigate the Sylphs. Yay! Okay. Everyone loves the sylphs. They don't. They don't. They don't love the sylphs. No. Now. Yes! Oh. Yes! We have a favor to ask of you. I like her voice more than I like yours, Iron Agro. Have the Same. documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. And that's Young saying something. Young Zane. Wait, wait, really? Yeah, Rianger in base ARR has the same uh, BA as Young Zane. Holy shit! Papa Limo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior. Oh, of the that's bad. <laughs> yeah. What our task? They look like gizzle greens. Floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Wait, primal? <laughs> Yo? Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, oh, Ramu, do you're right. Or perhaps cannot summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda, who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. I wonder where we're going. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the echo. 
Winning the Sylph's favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? I am grateful. Sorry, I am letting the girls in because they're kind of scratching at the door. Um, hey, Dangrid looks cool. Well, as mm. much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Damn, he, she could have said us. Oh! That's so fucking funny. Peace talks time. Um, go talk to the cells peacefully. I wonder how this is gonna go wrong. To Gridania. I'm starting to get there. You can only teleport to the main crystal uh -huh. from out uh, from outside. I know we've talked about that multiple times. It takes me a minute. What the fuck is in your hair, honey? Is not FF12 exactly like this? Um, how many times have I told you I've fallen asleep playing FF12? FF12 is so good. Space Star Wars is pretty good. Um, I am not even space. Oh, well, not space Star Wars. Sorry, because Star <laughs> Star Wars Star Wars oh. is space. It um, is actually Star as, Wars. As I've gotten a little bit older, and like I think more about twelve, I think I might enjoy it now. But um, um, I will continue this in a second. We know far too little of the Sylphs to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the Scions once more if we are to. Ah, beg pardon. It is a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the Adder's Nest? <gasps> Do you want to get a chocobo? Yeah! My, click on the man. My little chocobo. Ah, Private Amon and Urn? Yep. Urn. Uh, I understand you've been working tirelessly in your Donnie's name. You are truly an example to your fellow serpents. But tell me, have you ever felt as though you couldn't get to your destination quickly enough? That perhaps you could do with a swifter pair of legs? Wop, wop, if so, wop, wop, you might wop, consider wop, getting wop, a personal wop. chocobo. You have yet to be issued your own uh, bird, am I correct? Given your considerable talents, you should be able to obtain one in no time at all. Let me tell you how to go about it. First, you must attain a serpent chocobo issue by exchanging company seals with the quartermaster. What? Uh, once you have the deed, present to your uh, man, Singwar, and he will furnish you with a suitable bird. Alright, so, so we need to... So, we need to... Oh, we need see company seals, so over here. How many do we need? I know they changed this quest. When is the Easter event over? Um, Tuesday? Alright, so Monday, I'm gonna finish it up. What do you mean you already finished it? No, because there's extra stuff to get. Wait, where is this guy? Oh, this is him. Wait. He'll need to exchange serpent. Oh. Okay, we follow me back here. So we need to exchange this. Is, I forgot they had this. I feel like the quest was different before. Um, we have to get serpent seals. So basically, our like, uh, you get seals for doing specific content. Yeah, yeah, okay. And for your grand company, I have no idea where to change this for, but um. Ask about missions and company seals? Uh... Nope. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's literally what we need. Well, you didn't tell me anything. We, so we exchange it with this guy. Right, but the, no, the, the next guy, Serpent Personnel Officer. Talk to him. Ah, Serpent Chocobo Insurance. Uh, let's I think see that's that. what we need. On immaterials. The word is issuance. Oh, no, it's insurance. Nope, I S S. Yep, you're right. I can't read. Okay. There you go. Wait, was I actually right? I just no, I was wrong. No, I was just trying to save you. Oh, it, okay. No, I was wrong. And I'm. It's a bit. Yep, yeah, okay. Do you sprint a lot? Well, yeah, why would I not? I don't know. It just catches me off. On a bird issue, you say? You'll need to get the circuit down the ball. Here's you go. Do I get to name my chocobo? Um. Yes. Canonically, or just like in my head? Canonically. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll rewrite back with your chocobo. How do I get his outfit? Uh, serpent just because it seals. I love it. There he is! And here he is. The fellow has been in high spirits the past few bells. He must see have sensed uh, that his master was coming. Or is it is it a he for you? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now then, to make it official, you'll want to give the noble steed a name. Quah! Oh, it made, wow, I did it. Voice acting for the Chocobo. Worth it. What do I name him? That's a good question. I will name my chocobo. Hmm. I could do Charles. I could do Dalamood. Charles is pretty good. I like Charles. Hmm. I could do Frank. No, I can't do Frank. I named my original chocobo Winston. Winton Overwatt? Sure. Winton Overwatt. I, I, can I rename it? I think so. Alright, we're gonna do Charles. I will go with... Uh... Wait, Charles, come back! Wait. Uh, what should I name? Charles 2. No. Charles 2. No. Let's see, we got Charles. You could do... Um, Randy. You could do... Okay, we're gonna go... We're gonna name after my favorite Chocobo-related character. Cho... Co... Bo... Bill. Co... Lena. Chocobo Kalina. We should have named it Chocobro. <sighs> you know what? I know what I'm naming my Chocobo. Never mind. Chocobro. Thank you. Swarls. Ah, yes, of course. Thank you, Swarles. Bye-bye. Let me talk to the man again. Ha-ha, I dare say he likes the name. It's very, your very own choke of a whistle. Simply blow into it, and your feathered friend will come uh, bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he uh, doesn't respond with someone in a crowded city areas or monster-infested lairs. Chocobos are stout-hearted creatures, but have their limits. And lastly, I present you with the Chocobo Rider's License, as is required by law. Of course. You license to ride a Chocobo. And that concludes all formalities. I wish you and your Chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. We did it! Okay, so you're going to want to put this on your screen. Well, first, inventory. Blow, use your Chocobo whistle. Now, in the character menu, go down to Mount Guide. And, uh, I'm gonna I would say add, or, yeah, put somewhere. I'm gonna add it to my hotbar. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> uh, where's this gonna go for me? There. Okay, now let's, uh, go back to talk to this guy for MSQ, and then we'll go... When we're out there, we can ride our chocobos. This is so exciting. 
They actually made that like mandatory now. You can't uh, complete uh, ARR without having be done that quest. Really? Yeah, because they need you to have a mount for later in the game. They changed it in 5.3, so halfway through the Shadowbringers patches. Jeez. They were like, okay, we need a mount. Nope, no, I'm sorry, I keep clicking the wrong person. Well, if it isn't private to Mon and Wern, wait, Wern? Wern. Reporting for duty. Uh, that's the zeal uh, I like from an enterprising young serpent. See, we got that dialogue because we were part of the serpents. Good day, wait, oh yeah, good day, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but another business brings us here today. Ida and Papa Lima, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men will tell me you, uh, tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Uh, aye. Your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard what we're investigating in the Sylphs. The curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelves Wood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful bunch. Uh, much of the delight of the Elder Sea Seer, who has no desire to see your people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. Twin Adder is some of the uh, of the same mind, and tis precisely for that reason that the Sylphs' relationship that Primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our wrecks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that, that the summoning of the Primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylph tribes, uh, or tr yeah, Sylphic tribes, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry, indeed. Sorry, I had a drink in my mouth. That's okay. Do we strike at Ramu or lead the Sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions around uh, within Gridania, but... Wait. Opinions are abound. I, th I said abound. Uh, I'm sorry, I said around instead of abound. Uh, but to listen to only one's, one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. This is where you scions come in. The Sylphs of Little Solace remain un untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with the people. I would hear the candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to uh, excuse, uh, ex exercise caution, due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. I would not do to have any cross-cultural faux fa pas get in the way of productive parlay. En route to Little Solace, you will come uh, upon the ha upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer station there can enlighten you on how to win the Stella's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs. This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut, was it? Why, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be straightforward as you say, Papa Lima. It won't. Of course not. I want you to know whatever you think of these up uh, this upcoming self quest line. They cut it down by like, uh, forty percent. I need a wireless okay. mouse. Ooh, that'd be nice. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We have to go talk to. We have to go to. My shore. Yeah, probably. Crystal, and then we can teleport from there. Yep. That's what I was thinking. All right. My, I'm curious. Don't uh, you can go. I'm just seeing what this person gives. White Wolf Gate. I'm seeing what this quest is. You can keep going though. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Lancer's Guild. Okay. I'm here whenever you're ready. I'm in no rush. I'm just curious what this even is. Oh. Okay, so we'll come back and do this sometime. Um, 
it, it literally just unlocks teleport to a, like, there's a gate over here. Yeah. That goes to north, basically the shroud to north shroud, which is, if you open up your map to the west, it opens up that gate. And gives out an ear ring, so I guess, I guess it's worth doing later. Oh, uh, cool. I forgot about some of these smaller things that are unlocked through quests. Okay. You wanna be me, Tani? Sure. I, the fairy docked at the base of this hill, will carry you across the lake to the East Shroud. Once you're ashore, head due east, and you should find a Hawthorne hut without much trouble. Wait, Aspie. I'm just teleporting us. We've already been there. <laughs> Oh. Now, it is time. And we are speed. Will it, like, try to, like, float? Huh? Like, if you jump off, like, a tall cliff, will it, like, kind of, like, glide a little no. bit? No. But when we unlock flying, it will fly. Look at him go. I've actually lost you. Oh, there you are. Hey, just stay away. If you catch me, you get a dollar. You're on the roof. I am. I'll just wait here. Got you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I, I have you video landed on me. I have video recording that I didn't touch you. Okay. Uh, I have to. I have to get up for a minute. You. Uh, you can continue talking to this guy or run around in your chocobo, and I'll be back in a minute. Chocobo run. Yeah. Okay, if you want to, as soon when you're done running around in truck, if you want to continue main story, feel free. I'll wait for you to get back. I might be like two, three minutes. All right, all right, all right. I, so up to you, up to you. No, I'll, I'll just do I, MSQ. I'll just do I it. have to use the party. You enjoy the party. I will do MSQ. Alright, we're... Indeed, I am Amelaine of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a wary lot. Particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. And their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all, no? Would you know more? You do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the Sylphs than I'll ever know. <clears throat> come to learn a th come to learn a thing or yeah, come to learn a thing or two about the sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing: they're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. They're they're um. Beg pardon, friend. My memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventure days, and it's all a clutter and monogamy now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before, you might have more luck with them. So, okay, I just need to speak with these people. Isabel, Blaisette, and Mon. Hey. Oh. Isabel? The Sylphs? Yes, fathers told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You'd do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We need to do like There's Monet. The Sylphs, inveterate tricksters and troublemakers, that's what they are. 
One day they're drawing marble faces on our masks, the next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they just laugh at you. Rolf claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. And there's the place set. The quickest way to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your food steps on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun, or so Rolf once told me. I feel like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, of course, of course. Hearing your stories, well, my stories, has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel, I feel like dancing. Yes, nothing brings people quite together, or together quite like a little toe tapping. A sylph once told me long ago that dancing is a time-honored uh, greeting among their kind. You do well to remember this. It just may help win the favor of our forest friends. Oh, we can... Level 30, we can now do the next job quest. Sweet. Ah, still here then? Great. There's one more thing you should know about the sylphs. They don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. Turn their trust, you do well to bring along uh, uh, a trap. What was it again? Uh, and my wife Rosa and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. She is just going to be over there. So oh, sorry, I did not be moving. Peace offering for the sylphs. Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear that wouldn't get you past the front doorstep here. No, their tastes run more to the unusual. Are you perchance familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root of that most fiendish, fiendish seedkin, the ochu. When, when chewed, it exudes a clouded liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbiber. You'd not catch me dead trying to stuff, but the sylphs seem to enjoy it to no end. I've not seen the Inochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious clump of last the grass the other day. Were you to stimulate it somehow with some of this amber syrup, for example, you might be surprised at what comes out. Good luck. Oh, and it's just going to be over here. Gonna the chocobo doesn't jump as high as I think it would. Thought I'd be able to jump over a rock, but I was severely wrong. Ah, you're back. Is my wife able to direct you to a suitable offering? Ah, Malkru, but of course! Those selves quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flag and a mead. The effect's just about the same as well. Any road, a gift of Malkru will have the selves calling your friend and sister the moment they lay eyes on it. Now, let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. I've taken the liberty of wrapping your milk foot well and good. 
They should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god's awful stench. The sylphs love the stuff, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say wow. the- Chocobo dung. Welcome back. Hello. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of the morbul that put an end to my adventuring days. But I can tell you that what well, I can tell you that story another time. You more important matters to attend to today, yes? The Sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know their kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friends, and do not and do stop by on your return. There's a flag in the full flower mead with your name on it if you'd regale me with your adventuring tales. Ah, and for I forget, don't go traipsing off just yet. Emily in here would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. Very excited to listen to what you say when I'm not here. Uh, not a whole lot. I just kind of voiced what they said. Um, it's super. You'll catch up to me super easy. You literally just have to find Nochu. And then, um, while you do that, I'm going to do this mm -hmm. fate. Okay. Because now that you're back, like, there's no reason for me to keep going ahead of you. Okay. He just really wants to do fates. He does. He will get the platinum trophy. Mm -hmm. Will he? Eventually. Will he? Eventually. Will he? There you go. Rosa Hawthorne. Yep. So I have a question for you. And yes. I, uh, so combo abilities. Is it based on the same target? Or if I like do combo ability one on one target, switch to a different target? Like, will it still do uh, that? I don't want to say everything is multi-target, but a lot of stuff is. Like, I can switch. Okay. Like, I, I, there's probably stuff that is not. And just in time. Fate complete. Oh, you, oh you're, you already ran by me. I didn't see that. And see every uh, mount. Ha oh, you know what I can do now? I can show you my mounts I spent real money on. Yeah, let's let's do a little fashion show. Now only a couple of them are cross character, but there are there. Um, where are you? There you are. Wait, where are you? Oh, Aspie. Aha. Okay, I only have a couple. And by a couple, I mean, uh... Where'd they all go? They're there. Uh, I have I have three. I bought this one. This is ten bucks. It's left near. That's cool. I didn't notice he, like, crosses his arms. Yeah. My, like, my main does not do that. She's a girl. She does not cross her arms on this mount. Then, there is this one. Which is the N Walker pre-order mount. Oh, that's sick. I'd like you to know the best part about playing on PlayStation. You know the haptic feedback? Yeah. All the mount steps have unique feelings. That's cool. So this one, like, I can feel six steps. Uh, and then and then the other one. This so, one I spent thirty dollars on, so, so they give it to you across multiple accounts. So there's no other way to get that now. Uh, no, you can buy it. Any of the pre-order stuff is available in like a $10 to $20 But you uh, got pack. it for free. No, I paid for it. Just, it, I, you couldn't get it for a while, I believe. Oh. But, here is the $30 mount. That's cool. You can get on it if you want. It's two person.
That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Do some mounts like go faster than others, or is it standardized? Um. Well, there are three mount speeds. And so how it works is you start at the, the base uh, mount speed. Uh, do I believe it's it's different for each map, but I believe fates and a couple other things, and you can unlock a faster speed, and then you can unlock a, a third faster speed if you do an insane amount of stuff. Um, wait, no, there's way to unlock speeds. Basically, there's one upgrade that you get just by leveling up and doing things in the like completing the story in the area, basically. And then another that you get by being an insane person doing like hundreds of fates. Smilers. But, but, the one exception, if you buy the Cloud's motorcycle, that starts at speed two. That's cool. And of course, there's very little reason most of the time. <clears throat> uh, flying goes at faster than any la land speed. So, I have already talked to this guy. I didn't realize you didn't, so you're going to have to do it. Uh, it's good to see your knowledge of Soviet culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a young soap by the name of Komuxio. He has served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion and has a close ear of his tribe's elder. I see the Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that malodorous root the soaps so adore. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver. A missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy. That'd be you. It restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. The war with the Ixal has taken a toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you any further the importance of this mission. May the Twelve see you return with good tidings. Can we... Oh, yes, yeah, so, okay. Like for now, I think it's fine, but eventually, I like when we're going through the new areas in the expansions, I'm gonna highly recommend turning off mount music. For now, it's fine because A, like you've heard this music multiple times already, and B, it just kind of turns off at times for no reason. Uh, but like later, they the expansions do a very good job having the music set the mood fine. These aren't part of the fate, you know. I see that. What is? Uh, these gnats. I don't see them. By me. Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> oh, there's one over there. It was already almost done. I had to hop in. I oh, know it was fine. I understand. I do that too sometimes. There are NPC like guards at like a lot of spots, near, and they'll if they're near a fate or if a fate like this spawns on them, they'll start fighting them. I did a. Bum, 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 oh, we're gonna, I get some serpent seals for that. Yes, you get it for a lot of stuff. That's convenient. There she is, Komuluxio. Or Komuxio. I will be Komuluxio. Walking one is not familiar with this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. Time to emote. Uh, where's dance? That's what I'm looking for. You can just type in slash dance. Oh, really? Uh-huh. How beautiful do we look? Yeah, each uh, race and gender have their own like default dance. Uh, this one would be would welcome walking one who moves like this these ones. 
If walking one would, uh, would talk to this one, then this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak quick, quick talk. Walking one would gift to this one? Walking one is most kind. Walking one brings milk root? Milk root fill this one's a great joy. This one gives thanks. It gives many, many thanks. Walking one carries message for elder one. This one will be delivered message to elder one. Walking one should not worry. Oh, he's! Hello there! We're envoys from Gridania. We're here to treat with, with your people. Aye! We come to pay our respects to your elder and to learn from him more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? The walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one be became dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks was one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Go, go home, you say? But the Sylphs and Little Solace have always welcomed your Donian envoys with open wings. The letter carried by Wive and Meteor here is an oath of peace penned by the Elder Seed Seer herself. Still, you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder ones have no worth for Gridania. Walking one wastes everyone's time. Well, I never. Turned away my, at the gates. Whatever did we do, does it, eh, do to deserve such a rude welcome? Uh, was Meteor and Wife's jig insufficiently jiggy? We were very jiggy. We got jiggy with it. <laughs> I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. We have to kill Ramu! Ooh. But they like Ramu. Yeah, we had to kill him. Uh, I don't know. Matter. You're yeah. never gonna use these. I didn't think so. Let's talk to Yida. 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 Oh. Ye. The music. Yes. That's good. Sorry, I'm oh. stretching. <laughs> Sorry, I was stretching. Uh, say you two, are you in the mood for dancing? Always. That's right, dancing. You went through all that trouble to learn the Sylph's traditional greeting, but you've uh, uh, greeted hardly any of them. Why, if I were a Sylph, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing an interest in my culture. Me? Of course I'm happy to join. Oh, ow, ow, ow. There, there goes the bloody leg scramp of mine acting up again. Ida refuses to dance. Now we must dance. Walking one's belly is rumbling? This one is not making a meal. This one is boiling bark and flower seeds to die thread. Color must be jolly and so must green making. You must dance for him. I know. Make sure you clicked on him. I did. That's what I was saying. Oh. No, yeah, I, I danced. You danced sparely for no Lexia. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh! Walking one knows jolly dance. Jolly dance fills this one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. I do not like male Highlanders, Jeek. No. Uh, walking one would be friend with these ones? This one is, be is overjoyed, but this one keeps the ways of weaving secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. I also I didn't I didn't notice your your chat of bullshit Ida is a liar. Yeah. Want me to voice do this? Oh no, Iron Agro! I'm going to be charged five hundred dollars by McAfee if I don't call them. Oh, I see. I'll be right back. They need my social security number. Ah, uh, okay. Go give that to them. Hello, McAfee. My social security number is H. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Ow, walk- uh, wa Oh, go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Uh, walking one is friends the, uh, to these ones. Walking like gracious elder one of Forest City knows how to dance in these ones' hearts. You two, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all the little solace. The better news, why I've thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. <clears throat> Convenient typing. Mm. We need to talk to Palimo. Friends, as, as adventurers, you're no strangers to helping distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurers who come to the aid of the local populace can go from strangers to heroes overnight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do so having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they have their fair share of troubles. Seek out troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan, would you not say? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You'd be better off inquiring with Hero or Media of the Gridanians who reside here. She's most likely to be privy of the self's troubles. Imedia. Hello, magic lady. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. Ad adventurers. Uh, the self of Little Solace are sorely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solace wants for amenities, and at least a, a stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts of, uh, from mobs around are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. The Ziz, Gorlins, and Galnats that roam these parts are especially troublesome, and slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie brushes as well. They play an important role in silviculture. I do not claim to know the details. Yada yada. Yada yada. Who cares? I will say there are two points in this MSQ where I get to the level you are seem to be with a lot of it, and it's uh, here and one other spot that they cut down apparently. So maybe it's not as bad. So we got that. Yeah. Brownie bush here. Fucking my my airship got in the way. <laughs> um down this way. I do not see anything here in this circle. Oh, here. Yes. But now we need a gall net. So it should be done. Yep. yep. Wow. Oh, no! Did you enter the fate? Accidentally. I mean, we're in the circle. But I mean, like, did you enter it, enter it? Uh, no, no, I, I didn't level sync. Okay, because see, that, that that big thing is the fate. Lazy Lawrence. We could try if you want. Oh, let me, don't, 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 let me try to just get that on its own. Oh, no, it didn't happen. Hold a lot of enemies. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Don't, why? I didn't actually do it on purpose. Huh. 
Yeah, I was assu this is a boss fate, so I'm uh, assuming this is a mistake since I'm about to die. Oh, should I should I run away then? Uh, unsink, unsink. I'm dead. Yeah, see, because you have to sink. Uh, that one was probably not a good decision to do just by ourselves. If I we'd a healer probably, but we didn't. So no, I will teleport back now. Sorry. Because I died and had to spawn in Limsa. Cringe. Cringe. Thankfully, I have my chocobo. I'll be chilling here until you get back. Oh, you're good. Keep reading. All right. Kamuxio says, Dancing One is still here. Dancing One can dance all night. This one's trust is not so easily earned. Hand over the brownie brushes. Hmm. Dancing One brings brownie brushes for this one. This one can die thread once more. This one is pleased. Dancing One kills bitey buzzy one. This one hates, hates, hates bitey buzzy ones. Dancing One is kind. Too kind. Many walking ones come to these ones abode, but few are friendly like Dancing One. Perhaps this one was wrong to not trust Dancing One after all. I can take it back if you want. Yep, yeah, yeah. Sure. This one asks for Dancing One's forgiveness. Uh, these ones have many troubles since Walking Ones last came to our abode. This one uh, must be careful. Always careful. But Dancing One is not like other Walking Ones. This one can trust Dancing One. This one would ask Dancing One for help. Strange Walking Ones with bodies of steel come from to the home, uh, home of these ones. This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. When Empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and brushes burn. This one's home is in danger. Danger! This one begs of Dancing One to, to help this one no more. Dancing One is friends with these ones and walking ones, yes. Dancing One must speak to these ones here and walking ones at, in Hut House and find more out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are so, after something. But this one should speak no more. Go, Dancing One. This one depends on the kindness of Dancing One. Strange Steel Walking Ones. Yes, this one is seen. Steel Walking Ones carry big boxes. Maybe Walking Ones hunt for shiny treasure? This one likes treasure. Oh, he's going to talk to a bunch of people. I didn't realize. Yeah. Uh, now that we have that info, we're asking about the Empire. Well, th this one is closer, so I just figured we'd not. Oh, no, we'll get on our way back. We'll get on our way back. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> That's fine. See, so yeah, that's another boss one. We probably we probably shouldn't fight. Prince of Pestilence. Good music. Good music. There are some types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it was nothing good. Wow. What info. Men clad in strange armor. But now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types out of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. Oh no, he's gonna get me. I mean, we're. No, you I mean, gonna if he get would me. fight us at our actual level, then, uh, then we could destroy him. But no. Only level 16. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. 
I love this controller, by the way, SP. Fuck you. So good. Fuck you. How's the battery yeah. life on it? Uh, awful. Trash. Garbage. Let's see. Yeah, I, uh, I started when we... I unplugged it when we started streaming an hour and a half ago. It's already down to two bars. Wow. Shush, shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary, like touched ones. This one hates scary. And scary ones have scary friends. Oh, okay, so he's got it. Mm -hmm. oh, that's Edith. Want to talk to you? This one is happy to see Dancing One return. What did Dancing One learn? This one sees steel walking ones come from Empire, carry boxes, and go walking deep, deep through trees. As this one thought, steel walking ones are up to nasty, no good things. This one knows forest well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow Dancing One's map. This one makes mark right here. This is where steel ones hide. This one knows. Dancing one will go look for steel ones, yes? Ah. Time to go kill some garlians. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, why do they... What? You're ten levels above them. A suspicious box, Espy. Oh no. Suspicious box. We found the box. I am 10 levels above them. I don't know why. Yeah. A mentor over there. Crafting. Or, I think they're mining. Dancing one is back. This one brings a side of relief. This one was worried. Hmm, dancing one found something? Trash teen. I think SP's going to agree with you right What's now. What's up, OJ? Uh... Dancing one found paper inside a box. This mess. This is a message for Empire. I will agree that this is like the low point of the game. Uh, th this one can read walking one symbols. Message paper has uh, names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. It was rhyming. B -b -bo uh, rocks inside box. Kind of. Not really. Uh, but this one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from home of these ones. How do steel ones, uh, steel walking ones, know to find them? Is there a sneaky one uh, hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping one selling secrets to steal walking ones? This one fears this one's home. But Dancing One has helped this one much today. Dancing One must promise to always be friends with these ones. We made a friend, SB. I'm in the ethers. No. Cool. Yeah. Brotherly love, the new quest. Choco brotherly love. All right, take a zip drink. Uh, helpful ones arrive at a good time. This one needs helpful ones help. One of these ones named uh, Cloxio ventured outside Little Solace alone. Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Cloxio. Cloxio struck west after leaving the settlement. Hurry before Cloxio ends up in the belly of a beastie one. Definitely strange, OJ. What? De really? Definitely really? strange. Really? Uh. And I could be wrong, but I believe that whole area in the top right of the map uh, got added in a patch, which is why we're not go doing anything there at all. Flexio! What? Oh, hold on, there. Uh, watch out. I actually fucking, like, skip through all their dialogue. I'll read it. What? Walking one wants this one to return to Little Solace. Don't make this one laugh. This one's wary of living with those who are not of these ones. This one wants to be alone. 
These ones rely on walking ones for everything. No better than the ones that summoned a primal one. Small wonder those, uh, this one chose to leave. This one thought this was a likely place to build a home, but then meddling one arise, forced this one to go deeper into the forest. Meddling one is forbidding from following this one. Away with meddling one. You take over, Kamuxio. Oh, okay. What? Clarkson refused to return to these ones and went deeper into the forest? But but this one saw touched ones lurking in the forest. Huffle one must hurry. Hurry and find Claxio. Huffle one should search for spools of thread on the forest floor. Those things will lead helpful one to Claxio. But hurry! Hurry before touched ones take Claxio away. How are you doing today, OJ? Where the fuck are we going? Oh, I see uh, it. I see it. Further that way, yeah. Yeah, OJ, what's going on, man? Oh, it's a good stretch right Anything now. Anything interesting happening for you today? Had a dream I stole someone's switch and was on the run. Okay. <laughs> this everyone lo loves the switch enough to steal it. It was very intense. Oh. Uh, I know what that means. Gotta say, are it. wet Let's dreams go. real? <clears throat> what? Right. OJ said that. Wow, I know. <clears throat> oh. No. Oh, I, think so. I think they are real. Probably real. I would assume so. I don't know, though. Uh, Meddling One is back. This one told Meddling One to be gone. Tell Kamuxio uh, that this one will never get back. Never! Touched Ones. Touched Ones should go away, too. This one's a good one. Everyone should just leave this one there alone. Be on guard, friends. These sylphs have been tempered, brought under the thrall of the primal Ramu. Akin to the Almal Jah tempered by Ifri, these sylphs exist only to serve their deity. Do not answer for word to words. Only steal. I take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. <clears throat> Time to kill these mind-controlled people. Oh, there's a Marlboro. Marlboro. There's something not right about the Marble. Like, oh. They want you to focus on the Marble. That's what the text is saying. I forgot we should probably read that, but whatever. Oh no, they're they're telling me to take care of the sylphs. Oh, is that what they said? Maybe I misread it. Ida says, oh, "Ick, like why? Papa Limo and I can handle this beast. You take care of the sylphs." Okay, I guess I just misread it. <laughs> I misread. It's uh, it's just F of seven again. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. This, this one is safe. This one was so scared. Cloxio! This one has been worried. So very worried. Is Cloxio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? 
Kamuxio, and meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two come to rescue Cloxio, and Cloxio is safe, fills this one with joy. Kamuxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solace. This one is just afraid. These ones who live a Little Solace were changing and becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that the, uh, these ones were forgetting who these ones were, or are, like Touch ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. Meddling, or er, helpful one. This one is grateful. This one returned a little solace to be with Kamuxio and friendly ones. Well, uh, well, that's you. Well, we should, that, that should see to that. Well, we, let's say we return to little solace as well. I, for one, could do with a nice hot bath. Do they have baths in Little Solace? They must, right? That does not look like a place that has baths. I would have to agree. No, I don't want to join. Before, I don't want to join your party. Before we go back, I have to. I have to walk you somewhere. What are you doing, honey? Like a left out of here. A left, okay. Oh, this is right. This is the wrong way. Go. Uh, sorry, not up here. It's up here. And then just follow the path. Do you know what this is, SB? I don't. This is the wedding venue. Get back here. <laughs> You're back. I'm coming. This is where people get to see you have like that. Uh, you can buy. Oh, it's um, pretty. If, if you have, uh, like, if you paid for the wedding, you can buy things from there with Gil. Uh, this big circle thing is the 12s. Symbols. Yeah. Yeah, people gather out here and we wait you wait for uh for you... them to get done or for them to start and then you talk to the person, you go inside. We can't go inside now cuz you know, it's not a wedding. Oh, there's one no, day. There's no way to like mess with the camera to get, let me in. No. Uh... There's nothing in there. It's a like instance. Oh. Thing. That's cool. Okay. 